was cute. At least they had water in here already. It's nice. A little microwave and stuff. It was cute in here. It's cute. They got no bathtub, but they got the jacuzzi. Even better. Yeah. Ooh, it's cute. Make sure to get that started over there, honey. Yes. Oh, cute. Oh, got a little spa robes and stuff. Oh, I like it. I did bring a little something, something, but I guess we could put the robes on then, huh? <laughs> All right, now. Get a little fireplace. You gonna like this fireplace? Oh, I'm getting a little balcony. We can go sit out here, huh? So I'm going to step out there and smoke all right. <laughs> Let's show you right. Oh, I've heard stuff, hey. That's cute, baby. Thank you. Cute. Probably help my shoulders. I see them all the way down, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. Get comfortable there. All right. Look at Ken, everybody. I got him on video. Look at him. <laughs> we got on our matching Severus robes. Look at us. Oh, cute. Anyway, y'all, uh, stay tuned in. <laughs> what up, cut ups? This is just gonna be a quick video just talking about um, the fun that me and Ken had at the Severus guys. Oh, it was so sweet. You know, it was one of the, uh, the birthday gifts that, that Ken gave to me for, you know, my birthday. Um, and I, ju I just really, really appreciated it, guys. <sighs> you know, like I mentioned, you know, in the video before about Greg, you know, I had kind of knew that things were not, you know, um, um, what they were. I knew that he was not serious like he pretended to be and that he was doing things for, you know, asking me to be his, his girl or his woman, uh, his woman for the wrong reasons. But um, me and Ken had talked about it and... Uh, Y'all know Ken, of course, he's he's going <laughs> to naturally, uh, you know, have a lot to say about it, naturally. But um, it is what it is. Um, but all I'm going to say is that, you know, me and Ken proceeded to have a fantastic time when I was there in Milwaukee at the Sybaris. And we just... It was beautiful there. The fireplace wasn't lit there, but you know, just the jacuzzi and it was just nice. It was pleasant. The only thing about it is it just was not enough time. Now, I had originally had a video uh, recorded. Um, I was sitting in my mother's room talking about it, but I deleted it. I believe I deleted it so I'm just kind of like recapping it right now and just letting you guys know that you know Ken is you know he's a, he's always going to be that that special person you know I know that you know he's my ex and um, we have our differences and he is my ex for a reason but you know mostly because you know I did want to move and just start a new life and you know, he, he has his life there or whatever, but, you know, I just, 
we're gonna always have a bond, you know. And that's whether he meets someone or and get serious about him or about me, somebody and get serious about them, you know. Me and him are gonna always just have our little connection. And I'm really glad that we can have that, guys. I'm really glad, you know, to know that you can have somebody to depend on like that is a good thing. So, that's him texting me right now, hello. <laughs> Do y'all believe that? Oh. Thought that was my neighbor coming out. But anyway, you know, we just, like he texts me every morning like just like i'm still there just like we still together you know he would do that when i was there and um every morning you know send me a text let me know he made it to work how the weather is and all that type of stuff he still do all of that stuff y'all still do all of that stuff every day every day y'all <laughs> So, yeah, that's just my ride or die, too. And, you know, like I said, it's good. It's really good to know that I have that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. Um, I think that here in Florida, it's really hard to come by. Um, it's just a lot of people here that are, they just, they just be on bullshit here. I'm going to be honest, you know, I, I can't really, you know, it just, it's, and it seems like they go to the extreme to, to, to get what they want, you know, why not just go ahead and pay for it, you know, and I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm being very honest, you know, why go through dating somebody and stringing them along for uh, months and you know and we're making them think this or making them think that for months y'all you know it, just to get some like why don't you just tell that person you know just go ahead and make that person a motherfucking offer and see if they'll take it you know I'm being real there go I said shit yes okay instead of fucking around and wasting time cause that's what it is you're wasting a lot of time and energy that people can't get back, you know? Don't waste my time. And that's one thing I can say about Ken, you know, he does know me. You know, me and him was together for over six years, y'all. You know, we've seen a lot. You know, we've been through a lot together. We have, you know, I've seen people in his family pass away. Uh, he's seen people in my family pass away, you know, more than a couple. A matter of fact, when I was there, you know, the day before, was it the day, the day before my birthday, me and him went to his cousin, his cousin's, um, it wasn't really a, a funeral, it was like a walkthrough, but we went to it, you know, and I used to see his damn cousin all the time, he used to come over to Ken, he used to complain about him all the time, being drunk and coming over there, like, you know. But it, anyway, it was his first cousin, but we went to his little wake or whatever, walk through or whatever. So all I'm saying is just as, just that recent, you know, recently we've had a, a real close, you know, experience that, you know, ties us closer together. You know, of course he know my aunt very well. He know Raynette very well. So... You know, he's understanding the situation with that. And, you know, I'm glad to have him. Somebody who's genuine. Somebody who knows me. You know, I appreciate it. So, it just seems like it's just a lot of fake and phoniness, you know, with the men here. And that's too bad. That's really too bad. So, um... <laughs> I'm going to stay focused on, you know, still, you know, keeping up with my little studies and my real estate and not too much. I see my neighbor, Loopy, is, is on his way here. Um, yeah. And and that's that's pretty much it. Stop. Get on the other side. Yeah, if you could get right there. Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to stay focused on that, guys. 
relax and just do what I need to do. Um, you know, I, I had quite a few people hitting on me today, but you know, all the, all I see these people is doing it. You know, from the dealership and just being out and about at, at the damn at Walmart. You know, and you know they just looking at the physical. You know, and I'm like, if these bitches ain't got you know really, you know, could, if they can't tell me what the interest really is, they gonna get you know hear some shit that they may not like. So, yeah, with that being said, y'all, I'm, I'm going to keep my can close by and I'm going to also keep my options open, but it is nice to have somebody who is there, who is genuine, you know, on my side. So we had a fantastic time um, at the Simmerus in Milwaukee and I have just a little bit, you know, so a little bit of clips that you guys get to see in this video. Enjoy it. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to get going because I, I now have company to talk about some stuff. So, um, yeah, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video. All right, everybody, stay tuned.